Yeah, I think they should have just skipped to Kingsman 3. Now I know this is the third Kingsman movie, but I'm talking about the one where they finish off Eggsy's story with Taron Egerton from the first two movies. Because this movie is basically a prequel, set in the early 1900s with a whole new cast and is a story of the first Kingsman and how the Kingsman agency was first established. Sounds pretty good, right? Uh, unfortunately, I would have to disagree with that. Now the Kingsman movies are movies that I've always enjoyed and I forgot how fun and entertaining they really were until I rewatched them just recently. I highly recommend them, the first and second film. This one, however, is quite the polar opposite. Since this is set in the early 1900s, there's a lot to do with war. I'm not gonna give away any more than that, but because of this, the film takes on a much slower and uh, more political pace. There's a lot of waiting around and I was constantly waiting and wondering Where's the action? The dramatic fight scenes with the slow-mo and stunts that make you go, holy shit, that was sick. Yeah, if you like the first two Kingsman movies like I did, then this one will probably leave you pretty disappointed because this one really doesn't feel like a Kingsman movie. It's not as fun or entertaining and they don't have the Kingsman-like action that we are so used to seeing, and that's what made them special for me. It's, it's what made them fun. Those fight scenes were so iconic, and I always love seeing them fight with their very creative, multifunctional weapons. In this one, we had none of that. They weren't Kingsman fight scenes. They were just very ordinary and stuff you see in any generic action movie. There's not much creativity and it's definitely not as gruesome as the other movies. Remember that meat grinder scene? Yeah, we uh, don't have anything as remotely uh, violent as that in this one. It is to be expected though. I mean, the events between these movies are like 100 years apart or something. Things are different, so I'll give him that. The thing with the creative weapons I get because, you know, it's set at a time where they didn't have the technology yet to invent them. But still, this movie just feels like your average action flick. Just any old generic action movie. There's also no clear sense of urgency like saving the world in the first two movies and the main villain was just basically anonymous. Like, we don't even get to see his face throughout most of the movie, so he has a few goons, right? There's like a circle of villains that help him out, right? But there's not really any very memorable villain and at one point I completely forgot about every single one of them and I was like wait a minute was there even a villain in this movie like I just completely forgot what they were doing unlike the first two movies where they are basically just right up in your face almost all of the time I do like how this movie keeps the certain themes of the Kingsman though like the spy or agent theme while the first two movies were of the modern Kingsman agent, in this one, we have the more olden version with assassination and secretly drugging people, you know, to give their side more of an advantage in war. So I like seeing how certain aspects stay true to the previous movies while being slightly different as well. And there are a couple of references back to those movies, but not as much as I would have liked. And yeah, in terms of a movie that talks about the founding fathers of the Kingsman Association or whatever you want to call it, because that's what, you know, it should be about or is about, it doesn't do it much justice as most of the time it's, it's not even about that. Heck, I, I can't like, the only thing that has any relation to that is like the basically close to the end of the movie. And you know what would be considered a massive throwback to the first Kingsman movie though? Whew. Towards the start of the movie, I could see a way some of the characters in this one could relate to some of the characters in the modern Kingsman movies. But this can be considered a spoiler though, so I'll share it after my official grade of the movie. So be aware of that when the time comes. But uh, 
This movie is like the shittier version of 1917 because yeah sure it shows us the hardships of war and what people had to go through however it tries to be emotional but I just never really found myself caring for any of these characters unlike the uh, previous films especially the kid in this one who was like the main character for most of the time. When I found myself really loving Eggsy's character in the first Kingsman movie in his debut. In this one, I didn't really find myself liking this kid at all because there's not much development to his character. Like we didn't see much or enough of his training or whatever to show that he's ready. He does a lot of talking, then he just goes off to war. Though I guess you could say in XC's journey to becoming a Kingsman, we didn't see much of his action, like his shooting or his you know, techniques, fighting, training, either. Uh, we just see him become very badass all of a sudden. But in this one, we have a timid young man who thinks he is capable, but is not. We don't see nearly enough of him in this one, or anyone, quite frankly, compared to Eggsy in just the first movie. Like, just based off of that first Kingsman movie alone, I found myself really caring for Eggsy and his family. I wanted him to fuck up uh, his mother's boyfriend so badly. Uh, but in this one, it just felt very stale, one-dimensional, and just robot-like. And it's, it's the journey, isn't it? Like, you find yourself liking a group of people over the course of the movie, generally, right? But in this one, I just didn't feel it at all. So, you know, comparatively, this film was a massive letdown. The first two were fantastic, very fun and entertaining, and that's what I was hoping the third movie would be like, but sadly, and it's pretty clear <laughs> throughout this review, that is definitely not the case at all. This movie also has one of the weirdest scenes I've seen in a while. Like, in simple terms, it was basically some sexual fantasy of licking a guy's wounds, like a fetish or something like that. I don't even fucking know, dude. It was weird. <laughs> Those who saw the movie <laughs> uh, will know what I'm talking about, though. I'm going to give The Kingsman a C-. I would gladly give the first two Kingsman movies a B plus or an A minus grade. Uh, this one though definitely deserves like a C minus or something because it is pretty poor comparatively. And I mean even if I like try to look at this movie at its own and not compare it to the first two like it's a standalone movie because that's honestly what it feels like. It literally feels like it's its own movie then it's still not that good. A little bit better in a way, right? Knowing that it's not attached to the those other two really fucking fantastic movies and really just entertaining and fun movies. But still. <laughs> and to the thing that I was talking about before, which I said might count as spoilers, uh, I would have loved it if the kid in this movie was actually Eggsy's father, uh, who died, who was the one, I'm pretty sure, who died in the first mission at the start of the first movie. Like that's what I initially thought, but then I remembered it was set in the early 1900s and then was like, okay, that's uh, impossible. Maybe they're building up towards that though, because the mid credit scene hinted at a possible sequel to this movie, which if that is the case, then I'm all in for it. And uh, this movie would make more sense and I would definitely think more highly of this movie. But as of right now, uh, nope, still C minus or a C at its best, but nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I, I was kind of bored of it halfway through, to be honest, and uh, wanted it to end because it was a definite far cry from the first two movies. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below. Like and sub if you enjoyed, and as always, feel free to check out any of my previous videos. Until next time.